Hey guys, uh, you know, one of the most popular videos on my uh, channel is uh, the Three Card Monty video. That's a video where I tell the story of a guy who cheated me out of some money uh, with a three card gambling game. And at the end I say, that's why I don't gamble anymore. Uh, but that's not really true. I, I do gamble, uh, usually just, you know, basement poker games with friends, nothing very high stakes. Uh, but the truth is, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. And I thought, you know, instead of doing a magic trick this time, I would actually teach you how I bet on a poker hand, how, to, how I play poker, and, and uh, maybe you can get some winnings out of it if you ever decide to play yourself. Um, I'm just gonna deal a five card poker hand and give you my betting thoughts. I honestly don't know how this is gonna go. Uh, first card is a five of diamonds. Not a great card, um, but it is the first round, so I would probably bet on it. Uh, there's not a lot to lose, and uh, oh, it's good I did. That's uh, five diamonds, six of diamonds. That's a possible straight flush. Now, it's very rare that you'll get those, but if you feel confident, sometimes this is a good time to bet early and drive some people out of the hand. Uh, and my next card is a seven of hearts, which, but yeah, like I said, it breaks my, my straight flush. Flushes are, are hard to get, but I still have a straight possibility, uh, so that's something that, uh, that I would probably stay with. And a nine, yeah, so okay, I still could get a straight five, six, if I get an eight, but this is usually where I would fold uh, because, you know, chasing after that one good card to, to deliver you the hand is how people lose a lot of money. And uh, yep, sure enough, uh, there's a 10 of spades and I, I didn't get, I don't have anything really, uh, just the, the 10 is a high card. So uh, that's, that's kind of my betting strategy. Uh, you know, what I find though is if, if you, uh, what I would advise you do if that happens to you is just don't settle for having bad cards. I never settle for having bad cards. So for example, you know, you might want to take that and, uh, and, and turn that into a 10 jack queen, king, ace, royal flush, uh, which is the best hand. And, uh, and that way, you know, you, you would be insured of winning. That's my advice on poker. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe.